Hello, this is Jolly Gaming Panda, and today we will be hatching railroad eggs. Recently, there was a Pokemon event that took place where you could get this final form of railway with the Mighty Mark. And now we're gonna hatch some railroads to add to our team. I would recommend going to one of these stands. I would pay for the grilled rice balls. You boost egg power, meaning it's quicker to hatch them. I feel like it also may boost the chances of getting eggs from the picnic mode a little quicker. So I always try that out. Always feels like it gives a little extra luck. And picnics are banned on the academy premises, so we'll have to take our picnic outside the academy gates. Okay, we're outside now. How about we just picnic on the road? Because just blocking everyone's way to the academy is just the perfect spot for a picnic. So when you do this, when you're trying to get eggs of a Pokemon, you need to recall your legendary. And you pretty much just let the two spend some time with each other. I always try throwing a ball for them to have fun with. Oh, they're losing their ball! <laughs> Go get it, Dito! Kick the ball! Yeah, they have a blast playing with that thing. So just let your Pokemon do their thing and eventually you should find some Rella eggs in the basket. Oh wow, already some eggs. Another egg. We just need one more egg. So it really does seem like when you eat something with a boost of egg power, it really does boost the speed of getting eggs. Even in picnic mode. I love watching them just play with the ball. They're having so much fun. Tiny little Dito just kicking a ball all peaceful. They're so cute. Okay, let's check on that basket. Still nothing. This one might take a little bit. We could always just watch them play with the ball while we wait. Shouldn't take too terribly long. Really cute. Just love seeing them play. Wow, still no eggs? Hurry it up, y'all. I need an egg. Okay, great, we got an egg. So, now that we... Actually, I didn't need three eggs, now that I think about it. I already have the final form. I could just trade them to a friend or something. The third railway. So, now that we got the three eggs, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hatch them. I always prefer hatching eggs inside the... Academy gates because this is probably the most widest and also safest area you could hatch Pokemon eggs. The nice thing, there's no wild Pokemon whatsoever within these gates. And because of that, you won't have to worry about running into any wild Pokemon and perhaps disrupting the shiny count. As far as if you're hatching Pokemon eggs because you're trying to do the Musada method and get some shinies. I try as much as I can as far as that method of shiny hunting to do it here because if you do it outside anywhere else where there's wild Pokemon 
there's a chance of running into them and ruining your shiny count. But we're not really shiny hunting today. Today we're going to just be trying to get regular rallets. We'll hatch three of them. Wait, I don't even have the eggs. I totally forgot to equip the eggs, actually. So here are the eggs. There we go. And all you have to do is run around. I like to be on Coridon when I do this to get around a lot faster. The more steps you take, the more soon you'll hatch your eggs. So I just race around. I think the academy is great because it's so big. No wild Pokemon and there's always fun stuff to look at. There's just a lot in this city. So it helps pass the time. So we just keep running around and around and eventually they'll hatch. I would definitely recommend eating food with Egg Boost because that definitely helps the time go a whole lot faster. For some reason the eggs hatch more quickly when you eat the food with Egg Boost compared to if you just try and hatch these without any food. Alright, our first Rella Egg is hatching. Really exciting! Oh, so cute! We got our Rowlet. Very adorable. Very round. Rowlet's my favorite of the Sun and Moon starters. Alright, there goes the second egg. Alright, we got our second rally. Awesome. And the other one I'm gonna hatch, I'm probably gonna give to a friend or something. I actually didn't need a third egg, I forgot. I already have the final evolution of rally. That's what uh, the Pokemon I had that allowed me to get these in the first place. But it all worked out. Plus, I'm always happy to give away Rowlet, so in the comment section, if you want to comment to get a Rowlet, I could trade you one for anything. Because I don't mind helping everyone out in the Pokemon community. Plus, these are pretty easy to hatch, the Rowlets, so I don't mind. Capable of taking hits, somewhat vain. Takes plenty of C fiestas. Alright, let's see how they do. So, this one great stats, great stats, good stats. So, we have some pretty decent Pokemon. Let's try and evolve one of the Rowlets. Let's try five of these. There should be more than enough to level them up, I think. Alright, our Rowlet is evolving. So cute, we got our... Dart Tricks. Really awesome. So now let's take a closer look at these Pokemon. So we have Rowlet here. Really cute. Wow, they they fly. Really cute. Love how they're not just sitting on the ground perched. They're just flow flying. Oh cute, they fly around when following. Really cute. Love this. 
Love how they made the Rowlet just flying around. It does seem like they do land on the ground sometimes, but I love how when following us they just fly a little. Really cute. Look at me, buddy. Wait, they fall asleep when flying? I'm not sure I could do that. Oh, look at the little guy, so sleepy. But this game really is detailed. I could see the textures of the fur. Really cool. I love seeing how the Pokemon Company improves on the graphics and the little details with the Pokemon. Really cool. So let's take a look at Dartrix. Really cute. Let's see if they fly when following. Nice. This one is more low to the ground than high up. Really cool. So these are the Pokemon you could get when hatching Pokemon eggs with Desidue. Tricky name to pronounce, but the final form of Rowlet, you could get the Rowlet forms and even Dark Tricks. So if you want one of these, if you don't have the event Pokemon, the final evolution, because the event ended, just comment in the comment section if you want a regular Rowlet. You don't have to offer anything special, just anything. Heck, you could just get a Route 1 Pokemon just wandering around. I don't mind helping anyone who wants a Rowlet get a hold of one. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.